Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. All righty. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the um, Aquarian season for the year 2021. It is a timeless reading. Whenever you need some sort of a message or some sort of a answer, you can use this. This is all timeless, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, um, before adjourn, um, let me know if you want your, um, um, if you want to get an extended of this reading with, that has to do with money, work, and finance. It is going to be in, um, uh, the business channel. So you can use the link below in order to get over the business channel and to pick it up. All right. So. In order to find out um, what is going on in uh, under these crystals, these are the crystals that you're going to be choosing. So these are season reading. And what we mean by season reading is that you create uh, your own outcomes. Okay. So this is why each and in each individual zodiac sign do not have uh, um, a separate reading is because uh, you choose what is going to be the outcomes for you in this Aquarian season. This is over your financial stability, career work, and uh, there can you choose who and what you get when you choose one of these crystals. Okay. So, um, uh, people who are in abandonment, um, uh, you will receive the crystals and you will choose which one of the crystals that you want um, to use. Okay. So, um, how this work? We do the reading and then you choose your crystal. Okay. And then you go and look which one of these crystal you, you will choose. All right. I want to say thank you. Let's get in this reading. So what we're seeing here is that the four of ones is always about some sort of a success, some sort of a victory. Um, some of you are going to be having some sort of a problem at work or, um, with your, um, business. This could be coming up work or with your business. Okay. Some sort of an information at work is going to be coming out for some of you. I see love is going to be offered to you. I see a lot of people could be, um, offering love to you. Some of you could be starting work. You're wondering, you know, if I'm doing good, that sort of a thing. Uh, yes, I see people are appreciating what you're doing. So a lot of people are going to be really showing appreciation to a lot of you. And with whatever you're doing, whether at work, whether business, some of you, I recognize that people are going to be, you're going to be merging where families could be coming home or people are returning home to live with you for a time until they can get back on their foot. It is a yes, so do it. Okay. So if you can help out someone, however, it is coming up or you are going to be asking someone, um, if you can, you know, be with them for some time until you get back on your foot, it is going to be a yes. Okay. The energy of the sun is air and the energy of the sun is showing up a lot of things that was happening and transpiring. A lot of you are going to be finding out things about your kids at school. Um, and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that maybe your kids miss school. That sort of a situation is coming up. So be aware of what is going to be coming up and transpiring because you are going to be recognizing a lot of things. It's as if this Aquarian season is going to be bringing forth a lot of uh, information, a lot of things that you were not aware of, okay? And when we look at this energy, the energy is of temperance. And what is happening and transpiring with the energy of temperance is that a whole lot of you in this Aquarian season is going to be bringing back some sort of a balance to a work situation or a home situation. So let's say that you were having issues at work or at home. I see this balance is going to be returning. Um, you are going to be trying after you end this season. So let's say work and home situation was out of balance because it's in the reverse. You're going to be trying to balance it out and bring this in the upright position. A lot of you needs to call on 
your angels, your higher self to come up and help you to resolve issue. Because sometimes we are like fighting with other people and the rest of it. Let it go and send divine intervention. Um, please intervene in the situation that I'm having with so, so, so. I'm asking you for an, um, a positive outcome. So give me inner strength to deal with this situation. Okay. And I'm letting it go to you, source. And as you do that, you're going to be recognizing like unexpected. Oh, um, I think we made a fault. Okay. Oh, um, all right. We weren't aware of this situation was transpiring. So this is how you are going to be recognizing what is going on, what is transpiring and how you are going to be balancing out a lot of situation that was affecting you and affecting your life. So this Aquarian season is like it is saying to you, you know, look at your house situation, look at um, things at the workplace, look at your business, think about starting a new business. This is what this house, this four of house in reverse is saying. So people who are unemployed at this moment, think of ways and means that you can start your home business. And this is absolutely what this is saying in the Aquarian season is that you need to think of ways and means how you can create wealth and stability for yourself instead of you standing there, sitting there, waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen. Try and make something happen for yourself, okay? Then this energy is that some of you, a whole lot of uh, love and appreciation is going to be coming to you because people are going to be recognizing that you are um, really working in uh, or coming from a positive place, okay? So it could be at work that people are going to be realizing you're coming from a positive place. You're someone that people wants to be on their team because uh, you are very much uh, awakened and uh, um, skill wise, you're very good and people are recognizing that and recognizing that you have a whole lot uh, within you that you, you can give to others, but also your ideas, things that you have. And I see that people are going to be saying to you, Hey, why don't you just start your business? You're good at this. You're good at that. You know, it is good to start your business and people are going to be like pushing you in the right direction. And this is going to be good. Then when we look at this energy of the sun, the sun in reverse is always positive, okay? If you are deciding to make any decision in this Aquarian season from um, the uh, 20th of January until the 20th of February, it's a yes, 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 okay? So if you want to make choices and changes for kids, it's a yes. If you want to make choices and changes um, open it up yourself for love. It is a yes. Okay. If you want to, um, you know, move in or ask someone, do you want to move in? Should we move in together? It is a yes. Go for it because that is going to be, um, reversing this, um, um, energy and reversing this energy so that you come out of this season very, very positive. The sun is one of this energy, whether it is, uh, um, upright or in reverse, it is a really powerful, powerful energy. And uh, what we recognize in this Aquarian season, because we're all going in the Aquarian timeline, it is that you are bringing forth a wonderful alignment of energy. And this is, uh, um, you know, bringing po positive energy within your world and within your life. And this is extremely good. So, Whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, recognize uh, who you are, where you are, what is happening, what is transpiring, and take this uh, um, and rain and rain with it because uh, you are going to be this Aquarian season it, for everyone. You have um, three, two major arcanas, and it's as if you're coming in out of the coal from the Capricorn season, coming in in the season. And what is happening and transpiring is that there are, this Aquarian season is waking up a lot of people because this is a general reading. And uh, from this general reading, you choose one of those crystals to see what direction you are going to be moving in and what is going to be um, working out for you in um, a positive way. So it, it is going to be you creating for yourself, for your wealth and stability in this Aquarian season and using it to move forward 
in a very positive way. So what we're seeing here is that uh, there could be some sort of an issue at school for your kids, uh, but this is going to be resolved and uh, you will balance this out. Uh, there could be some sort of a situation where, you know, you're deciding whether or not you should move in with someone, whether or not you should start a business with someone, whether or not you should reconnect with someone. Um, it is a yes. Um, you have to decide what it was, what was happening, why you had to disconnect yourself from this person, okay? So I can't make the decision for you. You have to make that decision for yourself because it is a reason why you had disconnected yourself from a situation or from a group of people. So, however, go back and look before you um, decide to reconnect. Why, what, what happened? What happened? What was uh, um, that... Uh, um, um, uh, issue that you reconnect, that you, you know, remove yourself from a corporation, institution, or that sort of a thing. And that is going to be giving you a sort of a balance out energy to understand what it is that you need to do. So when we look at this reader, it's about balancing, it's about rebalancing yourself, it's about, um, um, problems and situation, especially a lot of people who are dealing with, um, you know, work, no work, um, that is coming in and you're trying to, um, struggle through, stop with the struggle and said universal angels and guides. I know I'm very good at something. Call upon the angels of abundance. The angels of abundance is here for each and every one of us uh, in order to activate them whenever we need them. So, Call upon the angels of abundance and said angels of abundance. Um, you know, I'm asking for divine help. I'm asking you, um, to help me, to help me to recognize what is my skills? What are my experience? What is my skills? What are my hobbies? Because the richest people on this planet uh, do what they do and enjoy it because they find out and remember what their hobbies are. Your hobbies is the one that is going to be creating your financial stability moving forward. This is the season of Aquarian that is changing and making changes. It's about having multiple source of incomes and it's about you using um, this timeline in order to have multiple source of incomes coming in and to understand that you are really alive and is ready to create um, the incomes that you want for yourself, that you can live um, in a comfortable time. So whatever is transpiring, we are having um, the four of ones energy is always a, a very, very powerful energy it's because the four of one is guiding um, you basically in a positive direction. The four of ones is about, you know, letting you know that um, you are here um, to basically create your own wealth and do not wait on someone else to create this wealth for you. And what we are recognizing is that uh, um, you got to be really, really, really aware and align with the energies that is coming up, okay? So when we have the energy of the four of ones, it is all about a completion, okay? It's all about a completion. This is Venus in Aries, okay? So the four of ones is always Venus in Aries. So now Venus in Aries is um, work. It's about work because Aries is Mars, it is about work. It's about yourself. Venus in Aries is about loving yourself, okay? Because Aries is the first house. So Venus in Aries is basically about a completion of you learning. And it's like they're saying, go back to the table and relearn who you are and what is happening and transpiring in your world. And it is about uh, um, the four sporks, which is the four ones, okay, of the wheel, showing balance, structure, and harmony in relationship. And that is kind of off. Um, maybe it's in your household. Maybe it's at the workplace. So some sort of imbalance of harmony, okay? It could be imbalance that you have, a, you know, you're having problems finding a house, problem finding somewhere to live, that sort of a situation. But harmony in relationship is very, very important, okay? 
the completion of a life phase could be happening for some of you where some of you are going to be relocating going to be moving so that is going to be transpiring because it's the completion of a life phase so, or a cycle or a position um you're going to be having a new uh, beginning or a new position so some of you could also be thinking hey i came back to this job but i think that it is better that i go uh looking for another job so when we look at the energy of the four of one it's, it's, it's about completion so it's as if something is not completed. Your work isn't completed. You know, your house, you need to complete or you need to clear up. You need to reorganize it. your house. You need to take down the Christmas things. That sort of a thing is going to be coming up in the Aquarian um, season. Okay, so be aware, aware of that. So four of ones is always about some sort of a structure, some sort of a um, balance that needs to come in and harmony and in relationships. So when we look at relationship is a... Some of your relationships could be out of harmony. So be aware of that and kind of try to um, rebalance these relationships. So in order to facilitate uh, um, some sort of a, um, a positive energy in your relationships and uh, around you. As we look at the energy of uh, um, the um, page of cup, the pages are always news and it's always children. Okay. So it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, when we look at the, the, the energy of the cups, it's, a, it's always about uh, the Cancer, Scorpions, and Pisces, okay? So um, if you have a Cancer, Scorpion, or Pisces person, this person is really going to be offering you like a lot of love, okay? So the cups represent the energy of water, and it is also associated with your emotional feelings and the Holy Grail. So this is about a young person offering you love, okay? So some of you, it, the possibility does um, exist that you might find yourself also pregnant at this timeline. So it is about the female principle. It's about love and happiness, and this is in the upright position, so this is good. It's about, yeah, the Holy Grail is about you getting a baby, so it's good. It's coming up about pregnancy. Okay. So some of you will find yourself being pregnant or will get pregnant in the timeline. It's about a hard shape, old and emotional integrity. Okay. And this is all about integrity and harmony in your life and balancing out if you have not got children. The rainbow indicates a wonderful alignment of energies. Okay. So this is as if whenever the cups are or the pages comes in, it is always indicating like love, okay, a whole lot of love, wonderful alignment of love is going to be coming in for a lot of you. As we look at this major arcana, the sun, this is what I say to a lot of people, the sun energy is always beautiful, and the sun energy is a yes, okay, so if some of you were thinking to do anything in the third week of um, the airy season, Anything to make any changes, do it in the third week. So that will be like the first week of March. So whatever you decide to do, any changes, do it in the first week of March. That is going to be helping you. So the sun energy is linked with the association of uh, cooperation, okay, group work and partnership. So the sun energy is always uh, it's, 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 it's as if it's the 11th house, okay? But the sun is a general energy. And the only person that has the sun in the zodiac is the Leo. So if some of you were having some sort of a problem with the Leo, um, the Leo is, is, is not going to be winning this. Um, and you're going to be recognizing this, okay? So if you were having uh, some sort of a problems, Leo, be aware of this Aquarian season. You're going to be coming up um, with some sort of a challenges. So, Everything becomes clear and, and, and direct. Positive energy, good fortune, and contentment are coming in. Now, it is in the reverse. For some people, it will. For some people, it won't. Okay? And the only zodiac that carries the energy of the sun is for the Leos. So Leo people, watch out in the third week. Some sort of a challenges could be coming up. This sun is a fire energy and it's very motivation, but it is also stimula um, stimulating for creativity. So it's as if a lot of you creativity is going to be opening up. You're going to be um, having these uh, 
sharp insight and wit that is going to be coming up. And this is going to be good because it's going to be helping you to balance out issues and situations because you're going to be seeing the truth behind whatever illusions that people is creating for you. Then we look at the temperance and the temperance energy is um, a situation where it is linked with Sagittarian. Okay. Now, um, some people say Sagittarian, but it also affects the Virgos. All right. So, um, because it's an earth sign and it's an earth energy. So, um, Sagittarian and Virgos, you got to look out in the fourth week. That is the last week before you get into the Pisces season. Okay. And it is all about integrity, um, and, uh, synchronicity okay through the creative process okay it is very important to reconciliate paradigmas conflicts okay so if there was some sort of a conflict you need to reconciliate this and recognize what is happening around you okay so someone who is not um easy tempered you need to recognize this because sometimes people are just like you know let it go the ability to react calmly, seem magically. Okay, so that is um, like some people can just get off by something, and it's because they're they're triggered by some sort of a trauma. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is basically learn to calm your temper, learn to really calm your temper, and um, avoid extremists, avoid things that is extreme. Just learn to calm your temper. Avoid um, extreme things that will come up in your life. People that is very extremely negative or people who is very e extremely um, created always issues and problems. Recognize these people and, um, you know, bring bring a stop to it before they are going to be affecting your life. And then you're going to be recognizing that you're mastering and going through and mastering a lot of things. So. Um, by just uh, recognizing these people that create drama in your life and kind of bring it back and balance it out so that people recognize I am not in this year for drama. I have left drama in 2020. This year is um, I'm vibrating on a positive energy. This year is the year that I want to bring in positive energy in my life. So if you are still in the face of you creating your own dramas, I am no longer going to be dealing with your dramatic situation. I need peace and I need a rest in my life, okay? So it's about you bringing back balance and letting people know um, you, the drama that has been happening, I no longer want to connect with that sort of a drama, um, that sort of a negative energy you are looking for peace and happiness to come in okay i do love you guys um go check out your crystal use the link below in order to access your crystal i do love you namaste until next time